Well, the Black Student Union hosted a peaceful demonstration in Bemidji this past Saturday where BSU students and community leaders shared their personal experiences and thoughts on police brutality. Reporter Destiny Wiggins has more. Have a voice, Bemidji. Stand with us and stand for us. And let these fearful times be a time for real equality. Racism, we're gonna tear your kingdom down. May 25th marked the death of an unarmed black man, George Floyd. And the Bemidji community is still making their voices heard. The two-hour peaceful demonstration allowed BSU students the opportunity to share what it means to be black. It's amazing that these things aren't taught to you and you can't fully grasp the concept of the struggle. Like we weren't, as people, black people weren't doing anything in Black Wall Street to hurt white people. It's somehow we were, we were still deemed a threat because we were becoming successful in our own terms. And, and that's why the situations that are occurring today are occurring is because even if we try to be peaceful, it, it, we're not allowed to rise up. We're, just, we're still stomped down no matter what we do. Community leaders such as a BSU professor also gave a speech on his experience as a Native man and how the Bemidji community can understand the problem of police brutality in America. First step is you need to know what it means to be white. You really need to understand what it means to be white, what whiteness is and what that means in America, right? You need to know what that means. You need to understand what white privilege is and all the things that go along with that. Think about it. One black person loses their life every 28 hours. Every 28 hours, that's another black person dead. Think about it. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Eight minutes and 46 seconds. Almost nine minutes. That's how long a police officer kneeled on the neck of George Floyd. And those who came to show their support in ending police brutality honored Floyd peacefully for those nine minutes. Almost nine minutes. Reporting in Bemidji, Destiny Wiggins, Lakeland News. And there were over 200 people in attendance at that demonstration. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.